What is going on today, guys? If you are an SMMA marketing agency owner and you are looking to streamline your sales process and have a faster onboarding sequence, that obviously sets better expectations, is a faster onboarding process, allows you to onboard more clients every single week so you can make more money and streamline fulfillment. Make sure you guys stick around in this video because I am onboarding at least seven to 10 clients a week over the past three to four years, I've scaled this agency to over you know 200 plus accounts. We have 48 employees, like there's a lot going on and I know how to streamline onboarding very, very well. So make sure you guys like, comment any questions you have about your onboarding process and subscribe for more videos like this where I talk about you know Shopify stores, maybe to help your clients um, and to help you know social media marketing agency owners scale their business. I also talk about copywriting, marketing ads, all that fun stuff. So stick around and let's hop right into this. So for the most part, right, in, right now in my agency, um, we are able to streamline things with a couple of different softwares that I use for onboarding. So the first thing that we use is Calendly. This is where they will book that onboarding call. So if I'm closing someone through DM or I'm on a sales call, I will get the payment. So we use PayFunnel invoicing through with that. That obviously hooks up the Stripe. They will pay that invoice. Right after that on that call, the sales rep is sending them three links. The first link is their onboarding call that they would book, which is gonna be a Zoom call with my team member. Second one is gonna be a type form. A type form is to get basic information from your client on their website URL, their logins, their best-selling product, um, their business address or home address that you can send the contract for them. Just little questions that are just basic um, pre-fill questions for the client. The next thing is gonna be a Google Doc. Well, a Google form. The Google form is asking them questions about their business. It's asking them very micro questions like, hey, why, you know, why does your product sell so well? What's the massive problem that you're solving? Who is your demographic? What, you know, what would people be dealing with if they didn't have your solution? Like we're asking them all these questions about the business because we use it for sales copy. We use it to write their landing page and we're using these emotional triggers and psychological factors to write their landing page and help them build their offer. So when the client fills those out, we have a bunch of automations that happen in Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, Zapier has probably been one of the biggest tools that I dove into probably around last December um, when we weren't really running a lot of ads because December is a really slow month for us. Um, and what basically I did was I completely automated the onboarding and all that stuff with Zapier. So if they come to our ecosystem, if they pay, they automatically get a Slack chat created. And if you're not using Slack right now for your clients, even during the onboarding process, you are completely bottlenecking your onboarding process. We use Slack to basically make the client their own chat so that they feel welcomed. You know, they're in the chat with all the team members, but Zapier is how we connect this app to this app. So they pay and pay funnels, then they get sent with Zapier to do a bunch of automations. And those automations are, hey, you pay, you get an onboarding email through Active Campaign. That email is telling you, you know, to watch a video on expectations, it's telling you to book your onboarding call, it's telling you to fill out your type form, it's telling you to fill out your Google form. After that happens, they then fill out their type form. That type form information then gets sent through an automation in Zapier to their Slack chat. So that now you have the client chat your welcome, you know, your welcome message. And then now we're getting all the client's information from the type form and Google form thrown into the client chat as well so that everything is more organized. The client can now see their answers. Your team members can see their answers. It's more streamlined. Also, after they book that Calendly, they automatically get redirected to just some really small landing page. And that landing page should be a video of you giving clear expectations talking about what's gonna happen over these next seven days, 14 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever days your contracts are for. Also what's happening is we're getting that information from the client and we have our legal team sending a contract to them, you know, following up with them in Slack because on the onboarding call, we are then getting that client inside Slack. We're getting them their Facebook assets. We're getting their Google assets. We're doing strategy with them. We're talking about their offer. We're having them go on their Shopify store and download all their apps. You know, we're doing all these compliance things inside Facebook, make sure the ad account's not bad, adding a payment, you know, getting the pixel done, sending the pixel code to the team in the Slack chat, making sure everything is centralized inside that Slack chat. And that's kind of how we streamline our onboarding. A lot of people right now are onboarding people and 
you know, yeah, you might be using Calendly, but you're not really streamlining anything because you're keeping the client on phone number and text. You're going to have headaches with that. The clients will be texting you at all hours of the night. They're going to be up your ass. They're going to be calling you 11 o'clock at night trying to talk strategy because you are available. You have to make sure you set those expectations very clear during the onboarding, you know, uh, sequence. So I hope that helps you guys out. Um, that's just a small little video I wanted to make real quick on the onboarding sequence. I will go into more detail on some of these automations and how this hooks up to also our team members, you know, as far as fulfillment, task management, all those things. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below if you guys enjoyed this quick video on how I'm able to streamline my onboarding. Hopefully this implores you to go get a Calendly, go get a type form, go get a Google form, get these things on fulfillment for your agency to help the streamlining better and make sure that you're doing you know those exact things i talked about on that onboarding call as well so that you're not sending loom videos to the client trying to get them to do it all for you when you can do it all in that onboarding call plus have that all completely done before you even have the onboarding call so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment subscribe if you have a question about your agency and scaling it this year then comment down below i'll answer them and i'll see you guys in the next video